So I just saw Earwig and the Witch, and it was not very good at all. Now I want to clarify that I don't hate this because of the computer animation. I had been hoping this would be a chance for 3D computer imagery to prove its potential as a medium. Sadly, this was not the case. The animation is surprisingly lifeless and characterless. And again, it's not because it's 3D animation. Computer animation is not inherently inferior to hand-drawn animation. Over the past decade, there have been great strides in not only the technical side of computer animation, but also getting new and exciting styles into the medium. Earwig and the Witch, unfortunately, doesn't accomplish either of these things. I wasn't able to find information about its budget, but considering the information we have about other movies Ghibli has worked on recently, I think it's fair to assume that they were working on, at most, less than half the budget as a Disney, DreamWorks, or Pixar movie. So they might not be able to achieve the technical prowess of these studios. In which case, having a distinct visual style would help give this film a lot of character. But this movie doesn't have a unique look at all. The lighting gives it a very flat atmosphere. The character animation only has a little flash of style here or there, and even then, those little flashes come across as incredibly ugly and repulsive, and sometimes it's just outright terrifying. The sets are really underwhelming. Look at the scene where the witch's den is shown to us for the first time. They use the music to highlight how dirty it is, but it's not really that bad. Good animation, regardless of its medium, thrives in exaggeration. Great animated movies are stories that cannot be told in live action because of that. They caricaturize the people in the setting, or present to us a world that cannot physically exist within our own. There's no reason Earwig and the Witch couldn't have been filmed in live action, and that's a crippling lost opportunity for any animated movie. Now again, I don't see this as something to be blamed on the computer animation directly, but Goro Miyazaki said something in an interview that I think is very revealing. I was the only one among the people at Ghibli who knows that method of creation. 3D animation is different than cell animation. It has different strengths and weaknesses. And while a few of the same overarching principles of animation apply, good animation, regardless of its medium, thrives in exaggeration. The techniques need to be different. The result of using Studio Ghibli's very hand-drawn style in a 3D space is... well, this. Oh, all this talk about the animation, I haven't even gotten to the writing yet. The main character, Earwig, is horrendously unlikable. She constantly gloats about getting people under her thumb and being able to manipulate them for her own benefit. And I was thinking, okay, she might change over the movie to learn that that's wrong. But no! At the end, she just brags more about finally getting the witch and the demon they live with to do whatever she wants. It's not endearing and makes her a little gremlin that I don't want to root for. When she explicitly says she wants to escape the witch just to go back to the orphanage where she was in total control. It undercuts any moments that might otherwise feel heartfelt because she's just manipulating the people around her. The rest of the story isn't much better. There's this extended part where Earwig and the witch's cat sneak into her laboratory to make a potion that'll make them immune from any magic punishment the witch doles out to them. Except... She has never threatened them with magical punishment. And she never tries to use magical punishment on them. The closest she gets is conjuring magic worms for them to eat, according to the original Japanese dub at least. Plus we still see her using enchanted items to attack Earwig anyways. The whole sequence doesn't add that much to the story and it's not entertaining enough to justify its own existence. Though we do see more of Earwig's psychopathy at display. The cat explains near the end of the recipe that they need to repeat magic words to finish the potion. And for some reason, Earwig freaks out and screams at him to tell her everything, even though the cat never gives any indication he wouldn't tell her. Why? Just, why? But the greatest crime is at the end of the movie. In the introduction, we had seen this red-haired woman who drops off Earwig at the orphanage. Later on, we find out the woman was apparently in a band with the witch and demon, but had to leave when she angered the twelve witches in their coven. Otherwise, we know nothing about her. And then, at the very end of the movie... Custard, you... <gasps> Merry Christmas, Earwig. Yeah, somehow the script manages to make the story feel bloated and incomplete at the same time. 
The red-haired woman tells Yearwig she needs to stay hidden for her own safety. The idea is never completed or even expanded upon. People in this world don't believe witches are real. Yet the witch runs a very successful magic business for people like the Mother's Union? The point is, even if the animation did look amazing, it would not make the script any better. It's just very unpleasant all around. So no, I don't recommend you see it. If you already have HBO Max, just watch the rest of the Ghibli film catalog and stay away from Earwig and the Witch.